Welcome to part three, part three of my comic haul from the Middle Georgia Comic Con and local comic store pickups. On our left, we have a special guest with us. We have Diego Maradona, Sports Stars, the Italian variant. You could only get this if you were from overseas. Found this at a local flea market for a whopping price gouging of $15. So decided I'd bring him in on this uh, to show that I do collect other stuff outside of comic books. Big sports man, boy, sports car guy. So got a ton of cool sports cars. May have to do a video of that one day. But for the purposes at hand, we are here to look at comic books. And we're gonna kick things off here with Sex Trek. <laughs> number one I picked this up just because I thought the book was outlandish and I was like you know what this is a uh, this is another one of those dishes where you see if I tell you I see something odd and it's something like this is probably hard to find and uh, sex trick is uh, it's a hit or miss uh, anywhere from 5 to 20 depending on grade of the book and also if it's graded uh, this is one that I'll probably just hold on to I might get it graded down the line but right now it's not a pressing issue uh, price says ten dollars, but the seller allowed me to get it for six. So was able to pick this one up. All right, so Let's uh, let's roll on another set of books I'm starting to kind of get and I've mentioned this in a previous haul video is that I'm getting on these romance books man these romance books uh, These these seem to be going up man. This particular book is a uh, I mean in great condition. This is a really 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 a uh, pricey book uh, so I'm kind of starting to go after those a little bit just to add to the stash because those romance books are just hard to find and hard to find in good shape. Uh, like I said, they were read to hell and back. So um, comic book writers were doing a really good job of getting women involved back in the day in these uh, old romance uh, novels. Now, a lot of people don't know that's that's what it was. Is back in the day, you know, they had to figure out they were trying to figure out ways to get women more interested in comic books, and so they just start decided to start doing romance comics, and so. Uh, a lot of those old books i think i think linda carter student nurse is a, a romance book if i'm not mistaken i know night nurse is so that, that would make sense if it is um marvel team up spider-man and master of kung fu uh 84 picked this up for three whopping dollars uh and well 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 really good uh condition so uh pick that up uh, we've got uh, this cool ass Spider-Man uh, epic illustrated uh, cover man I just like the cover uh, picked it up just off of that alone uh, just a lot going on a lot of funky art uh, Spider-Man getting the shit shot out of him by Electro uh, so I picked that up also another like I told you I'm picking up these uh, secret invasions this is a one shot number one who do you trust See, it's right around the corner, y'all. Right around the corner. So, let's keep that up. Uh, also, on the Galactus uh, tip. Snagging up Galactus. As I see him. Nice, cool Galactus colors. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Strange Sorcerer Supreme uh, 42. Alright, was at the show this weekend. Saw this bad boy for $5. Coyote. 12 coyote 12 I was like oh okay all right coyote uh you know me and and, and and kingdom comics we got to the show a little late man but this is a classic example this is a classic example of why i tell people you have to go to these shows day one a lot of people like to go on day day three to go get deals that's actually actually in my opinion probably the worst unless you're trying to fill a run like if you're trying to fill a run of X Factor or fill a run of Alpha Flight Volume 12, you know, you, I'm just being facetious. But you know, if you if you're trying to fill runs of uh, things like that, things like Cyber Force, then yeah, you probably want to go on that Sunday because they're going to offload all that. But if you're trying to go find value books, books that are probably worth something, or you're looking for books that will probably go up, you're probably going to do first thing that morning as the show opens and work quickly uh, 
I think if we'd got there maybe an hour early, I'd probably been able to get Coyote 11, which is one that I've been looking for for quite a while. And so I hate I uh, missed out on that, but I'll, I'll take 12 for five bucks all day. And it's in really good shape. Really, really good shape. Uh, maybe, okay, we got one, two, maybe two or three dings on it at best. So, uh, no complaint. All right, uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen number two and virtually mint condition as if it was just taken off the, off the rack. So this is great copy. Uh, got that for five. We have Masters of the Universe number three, cover A. We have Masters of the Universe number three, the variant. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> and we have the Rise of the Snake Man. Number two. It's like, you know what? I'll pick that up, man. Pick it up for three bucks. We're going to do that. We'll dance with the devil in the pale of the moonlight. We'll dance with the devil with the pale of the moonlight. All right. All right. All right. Green Lantern 132. We'll do it this way. Green Lantern 74. Green Lantern 181. These are all have something to do. They're, they're all key books. I just cannot quite remember right offhand what they are. And first appearances, if I'm not mistaken, in Green Lantern number five. Take these out of the way here. Cool ass La Muerte. Uh, Cover of Batman 43, Detective Comics, excuse me, Detective Comics 43, yeah, like that, uh, like that, I just like that cover, uh, Batman Adventures number two, so I've got the first 10 of these, if I'm not mistaken, I think I finally got the first 10 of Batman Adventures, that, that people tend to, to price that book out of reach for some strange reason. Like it's overpriced, not out of reach, but it's overpriced like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, you know, because it's the number two. Uh, Legionnaire 16, I think this is when Adam Hughes took over, started to take over, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, y'all. But we picked it up anyway. We picked it up anyway. All right, next up, we've got Space Warped 1, and we've got Space warp number two. This is cover A, this is cover B. This is a uh, tough book to find. I was able to find it for five whopping five dollars. A whopping five dollars. Loom, the return of Loom, USA, Yasusura. This is uh, volume four, if I'm not mistaken. So, starting to try to kind of snag these up as well. Uh, you can find those in Buck Ben, which is where I find that. Uh, Skeleton Key by Andy Watson, one shot, number one. Uh, four bucks. Stomp Town, number one. Number one, Stomp Town. That's a tough book to find, by the way. Good old Greg Rucker. All right. Uh, this cover presents well because it's in Mylar, but it's actually got a few imperfections. Uh, looks like someone set it down. I forgot it was sitting down. I'm not sure if this can be cleaned out because uh, there's a little bit of color breaks in there, but this is uh, Uncle Scrooge 273. This is one I probably would have got graded. I'm probably going to go look on eBay and see if I can find another one. I, I just like the, uh, the cover. And Hero Bear and the Kid, the Inheritance, number one. So I think I'm probably trying to find that number one of that. That 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 has child, a kid's movie wrote all over it. All right, these are some books I recently recently picked up for this past week. We have the uh, Nice House on the Lake, which is a uh, you know, I think this is going to turn out to be one of these iconic covers, man. Uh, this oak that's gonna probably stand the test of time. It's just a really great, well done cover. I have not read the book yet, but the, the well, well done cover. All right. 
Savage Dragon 259 is in the building. The uh, first appearance of the North Force, which is uh, kind of a knockoff of Alpha Flight. All right. Uh, Basil Basilisk number one. Uh, almost got the couple the uh, Virgil variants and stuff. I, I just I opted not to, but I went ahead and grabbed this because I like the color. Blue's my, my favorite color, so my color. So we ahead and got that. We got some cool. We got Batman Adventures Continue Season Two Number One, and we've got Crush and Lobo Number One. And then rounding out this hole is uh, Star Wars: War of the Bounty Hunters. This is, uh, I'm not sure if this piece from Mocha or not, you know, they, they, somebody tell me, but it's a variant. Uh, so I went ahead and got that one. Uh, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this haul. This is, I think we're on part three of uh, the comic haul uh, for yours truly. And uh, we've got one final haul to go. And then we will be done. That's right, four hauls, y'all. This stuff, was, I'm telling y'all, this stuff, y'all should have seen uh, the room I was working in, I had comics all over the place uh, this past weekend. Uh, but we've got one more haul to go, and I've got for you for you all who are sticking in there with me. We've got some good stuff at the end that you don't want to miss. Uh, once again, I want to say thanks for sticking in here with me as, uh, as we did this haul, and uh, we will be um, uh, moving towards uh, finishing this this particular run of this haul. Uh, once again, make sure you tell a friend, share, like, and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram when you're not doing anything. Uh, like when you get through this video, just head on over to the IG. The comic hall and round table discussion, all one word. Make sure you support our compadres. Like Stay Puff, 1983. Remo. Make sure you check him out. Make sure you check out Chris. Follow us all. We're all on IG. Check out comic with the comic book G spot had a great show last night make sure you check him out well on Sunday rather and make sure on so well Sunday I just thought about it Sunday morning on the East Coast Saturday morning on the West Coast and just Saturday evening in the Midwest so you make sure you check out uh, comic, the comic book G spot and uh, make sure you like this video on the way out and stay locked in for more here on the comic hall and round table discussion i'm matt and that is it that's my haul and that's all i got for you peace